Hello guys, I'm Fa. So Paul, for example, have a update today, and that just happened. I just try to find a way to improve our FPS. So I'm not sure is the update make the game not lag that much, or I just find a way to improve my FPS. So just share to you guys. So the first way is improve your filters. As you see, this is how our filter usually look like, and as you see there are so many beams on the ground like it's everywhere so they will make our fps dropping so how we gonna do that we just download like normal but before that we're going to style global style edits and remove all beams active so after active we're going to download our filter like normal if you have your filter you can just load your filter so you just log in and load your filter right here and you just do the same thing you're going to style and global style edits so just active this one and you save and download again with your current filter so it worked the same so after we download the filters we will extract here and then we'll copy copy the filters going to open the file folder and paste and replace so we reload so now all the beams is gone this will hugely improve your FPS as you see the currency will still show on the minimap so you don't have to worry about you lost your root drop just watch the minimap and just look like this yeah it's very good it's helped me a lot and the second way to improve your FPS is change the networking mode to predictive. I love to use lockstep always, but this leak, I cannot use this. Every single moment of the ping grow will cause my screen freezing. And when I running a juicy map, it cause my game very, very lag. So I don't use lockstep this leak predictive will be the easiest way to improve your fps in this week and then i also do some change on my sound setting channel count from high to low and rehab a neighbor and take um, i'm not sure this sound setting will help you or not just tell you what i done it may be help maybe not so you can try it if you want and then we are going to quickly talk about this page if the filter is not helped the sound setting is not help the predictive still not help you might take care of your graphic setting so in my experience everyone different right it's hard to say full screen is good to you my best setting is window full screen you have to try yourself full screen window if you don't like window you just try full screen and window full screen so you have to find out the best result for you also the renderer some players is DirectX 11 is best for them and some player DirectX 12 is best for them so for me Wukan is the best performance foreground FPS cap this one is very important you have to know how many refresh rate your monitor have you can check right here display setting and then you're going to advanced display setting and then refresh rate right here so refresh rate means how many picture can show on your screen per second so my maximum refresh rate is 240 so i will always use 240 so in this case i don't have to cap my fps so for example your monitor have 60 hertz refresh rate so in this setting you have to cap it you don't want your game run over 60 fps 60 above fps in game is wasted because your monitor or your screen only can show 60 pictures in one second for another example your screen have 120 refresh rate so you are gonna set this 120 so you're not gonna waste any fps in your game so the game will cap your fps right here so it not overrun the game and you will have better performance so for the detail setting everything set the lowest like low 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 just make sure we have good performance and dynamic curling dynamic resolutions both enable and set it to 60 
So make sure you don't disable this one. You have to always enable this one. If you disable this one, like your CPU have 16 core or 8 core, if you disable, it will only using one core. So your game will lag like shit. So you don't want to disable this one ever. So this is just a quick video for today and help hopefully help you improve your FPS, improve your gameplay experience in this league. And the more detail you can check this video, link on the description below. So see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.